Hello and welcome. My name is Omri and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start customizing your Dawn theme if you have installed it on your Shopify Store 2.0. So let's get started. Go ahead and log into your Shopify Store, sorry, Store Admin area. And if you haven't installed your Dawn theme, in the previous video, I've shown how you can go ahead and download it from GitHub for completely free and install it on your store so go ahead and watch that video if you need help installing Dawn theme and come back to this video if you want to customize if you want to learn how you can start customizing so this is going to be a quick intro to how you can start customizing your Dawn theme or in general how you can start customizing store 2.0 shopify store 2.0 themes that are compatible with so any theme that is compatible with shopify store 2.0 okay so let's get started and so i'm lo already logged into my admin area so go ahead and log into your admin area go to online store and themes you can see you've got two themes here, basically three themes. Dawn main W, which is the default theme, and Dawn custom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over to this Dawn main theme. So I'll simply click on this actions and say publish. So this will be my default theme. Here you can see I'm going to say publish this Dawn main. Also, you can have multiple Dawn based themes with the different names. Okay. So you can see this is Dawn main, Dawn custom, about two Dawn based themes on the same store. All right. So before I move on, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you. And let's get started. So to customize your Dawn based theme in Shopify store, you simply go to online store and themes and under actions you got these options you can view rename duplicate download theme files edit code edit language but in this video we are going to focus on this customize button so go ahead and click this customize and you will see you have completely different user interface with lots of new options okay so very first thing is that you can specifically choose a template and customize that and you will have these customizer add section column options available anything you select here the options will be available here on the right so let's say i want to customize my products template so if i have any custom products template this will appear here otherwise i can simply choose a default template or you can create one so let's go ahead and have a look at this products template and you can see so that's the first thing the first change you will get in shopify 2.0 store customizer that you can specifically choose a template or create a new template from your customizer theme customizer section here which is a huge improvement okay so now you can see this is the name of the template we are editing okay you can change the product so it's picking just one product here you can see you can change the product and this is if you want to go on to see this in actual view so this is edit thing here from you can simply go ahead and customize that and then view it okay so this is how it looks we are going to see what are the options that we get the most important part of this uh, customizer are basically you can edit 
a specific template and you could also add custom meta fields so i'll show you how you can do that like i already have so you can see this is a subtitle product subtitle and then we have here at the very bottom you can see this is the manufacturing information that i tried to add with the custom meta field these are two major changes that you see in Shopify 2.0 store. Okay, so so this is the page and this is basically template uh, map you can say. So we have announced bar here bar here at the very top. See you can customize that you can add another announcement welcome to our store you can also go ahead and drag in so you have this feature if you if you don't want to view that you can do use this toggle button that basically starts viewing and stops viewing when you click another announce button you bar Add an announcement. You can add one more announcement. Okay. And then we have section header. So this is header part after announce bar comes from here. So and you get all the options here on the, on the right side. So we do not have anything with the default announcement bar that you get in the option. However, we have in header we have option. We can add a logo, increase, decrease the size of the logo. Okay, now we can align the logo left, middle, middle, left, top corner. And then menu. Menu is basically this menu. So we already have selected main menu. If you have multiple menu, you can go ahead and edit the menu from here you can change remove change menu remove menu these are few options with the header show separate separator line which is this one sticky header so basically this is going to be a sticky header you will it's not okay so here we have sticky header when you just scroll down the page it appears okay what else we have theme settings let's see what we have okay so under theme settings we can add our twitter handle facebook page uh, pinterest instagram tumblr snapchat youtube vimeo action icon so text action one action two this is basically how you want to display these icons social media icons okay so let's let's move on to this template sections so product information you can see here these are all product informations we have text you can just toggle and see what it is hopefully it's right so that's on the very top right then we have title this is the text and when you select this you'll see you get this dynamic insert dynamic source so this is basically a meta field options available if you have already created okay and this is text style so subtitle body uppercase so we are just trying to just display vendor so when you select something from here, title, vendor, product, subtitle, subtitle, this one, manufactured, these are all meta fields that I have added to this section. You can add a one meta field by adding this link here. By clicking that link. So you can see you've got three meta fields here. Manufacture, care guide, and product, subtitle. You can also create variant so these are two meta fields available you can these are coming some features 
that is going to change the Shopify experience overall. So I already have created a video how you can create custom meta fields and start displaying on your store templates, theme template both ways so dynamic using the insert dynamic or you can use custom liquid as well so you, on my channel the video is already there so let's move on so you see these are just very basic things right you can see this is how you display custom liquid this is taken from this Product meta fields, my fields, manufacturer information. You can see this is the name of the meta field. And similarly, you can add a block, something somewhere in this uh, product information section. You can add a block. These are options available for you. These are theme blocks. You can also use applications, so Shopify apps that come with inbuilt theme blocks that you can start using so I don't have any app that has a block in block that I can add to this uh, template right then we have product product recommendation thing which is here you can change the heading adapt to image and show second image on hover which is very awesome Add image padding which is awesome this is great show vendor show product rating awesome. okay so padding is also good anyways i can go ahead and save it to save my changes here and then we have uh, okay so we got this is the padding thing i was talking about i think i think it doesn't look good okay so move on then we have footer so under footer we have this footer a quick link so you can add and we have heading this is the heading and then we have add blocks so you can still have access to those blocks still have access to those blocks here this is add block section you can add these blocks menu text images these are theme blocks for footer again we have theme settings so now we have lots of options colors you can change the color solid primary color typography which is another thing font in the body you can change the font styles access to patches you can make the layout bigger and smaller so that's the option we have so that's the layout social media again same thing favicon this is very important so if you want to add your custom favicon you simply go ahead and change it this has to be 32 by 32 I already have added so go ahead and create a favicon of your logo just reduce the size decrease the size to 32 by 32 pixel and you should be all right okay and see badge so this will be available once you select checkout options we have a banner a logo if you want to display these are few styling options main content area select image background color form field options here color transparent or white background image typography so there are lots of options to customize and check out experience theme style default craft these are two options i think inbuilt styles so this is craft this is default which is going to be white i think this is how you can start
customizing your Shopify store 2.0 themes. So that's it for this video, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will be coming up with more videos on Shopify store 2.0, specifically Dawn theme. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you so much.